10 million cases, a new coronavirus milestone reached in the United States with an increase of 1.29% in the last 24 hours. Well, I am being careful because people are dying, so we can't pretend that it's not real. President-elect Joe Biden said in his victory speech the virus is the first thing his team is focusing on. Our work begins with getting COVID under control. A top Biden staff member on Meet the Press said a new coronavirus task force is launching Monday. To be led by uh, uh, Vivek Murthy and David Kessler, who've been advising him uh, and his and our campaign since this virus uh, uh, emerged back in March. I can't hear you over all the COVID coming out of your mouth. In Philadelphia, tension remains outside the Pennsylvania Convention Center, where mail-in ballots are counted. Supporters of President Trump questioned the large celebrations in the city this weekend. There's gatherings everywhere. There's. You know, protests that we've seen everywhere, you know, where people are wearing masks or not wearing masks. But they are not advocating new lockdowns. Him shutting everybody down would be detrimental to, to our society. Biden supporters on the other side of the street are looking forward to new leadership, especially on the pandemic. Um, I think when Biden come in, it's going to be a big difference. I think it's going to drop. And I think Biden's administration will come in and they'll listen to the doctors, which is something that hasn't been happening since uh, Trump's been in office. Pennsylvania is discussing Monday how to better protect its long-term care facilities. Meanwhile, over in New Jersey, the governor says they are close to new restrictions there. I'm Drew Smith, NBC 10 News.